Welcome to Monday Night Mountain Madness, featuring an eight-player free-for-all on the Mountain Clearing map, which is a brand new one here on the Pup. Each player picked a random CF. No one is on a team. This is going to be crazy cut. This is, is close quarters. Look at this. Players spotting right on top of each other. So this is going to be mayhem just in a matter of seconds. We already see a scout taking fire there. And somehow with the random CF selected, three of them were China, two were Abbasid, and none of our new civilizations. But that is just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. Let's see who we got out here. So, um, it is absolutely craziness. I wish I could zoom this minimap in like 1000% because it's hard to sell. <laughs> what is going on here? It's just like icon, icon, icon. Because there's basically a forest on the edge that forces everyone to the middle. So, this is going to be absolutely crazy. We'll just have to kind of zoom around and see who's getting taxed. So, we've got Victor here. Uh, now, Victor was a, a popular player in our last free for all. He was a, a favor to perhaps win it, but unfortunately, did not get the job done uh, because the Black Winds came in and uh, stole the win. But maybe Victor will win this time. We have down in the south side faithful moderator for the Fitzbro Twitch channel, Irish Repo Man. Also another favorite of uh, all those fans. Uh, and if you know, if you don't think he's your favorite, he might time you out. Mr. Super Cole, an unknown coming in today. Uh, playing as China, though, always a good faction to have when you have a free-for-all involved. Up here, we've got Taitu Drone. Now, Taitu Drone, he uh, hails here from the Netherlands. He's going to be playing as the Roos. And you see he has all these deer already uh, dead here in front of his base. So it'll be interesting to see how much bounty he's able to pick up. This is a great map for hunting cabins, huh? There you go, we got 44 gold per minute. Up here we've got uh, the French, Holy Adney, another celebrity uh, in here. Uh, let's hope he doesn't get ganged up here today as he's between uh, the Rus and the Nuke up to the north. Another China player, Nuke coming in there. Uh, I expect maybe a Barbican. I don't know if I'll put it right down front or maybe right here in the middle to jam things up by his gold. We'll have to see what he does. I'm assuming there's going to be lots of Barbicans. And then, no walls. Captain Levy, he is playing as the Mongols. At least he has his stone nice and safe underneath his Uvu, but Mongols could be really tough in a free-for-all. But, I don't know, this might not be a late-game free-for-all like we're used to seeing. Uh, it might be some fast uh, rushes. Maybe this will end quickly. Navid. Playing as the Abbasid, you know this is my favorite civilization, but uh, there's just been a little bit of a spoiler. Now, Vid, tell me he's never played the Abbasid before, so I hit him with my build order. Let's see how he's executing it so far. Seven food, four to, sh four to gold. Uh, he's done exactly the right build order, minus the fact that he has idle villagers right now. So, uh, Navid uh, has already learned the way of the Abbasid dynasty, and that is all of our players. Victor also playing as the Abbasid, so... Having one landmark, not always the best thing to have when it comes to a free-for-all, but uh, no one said that Monday Night Madness would be fair. Two boards, I mean, how many boards are there? One, two, th three boards, I think. There's just so many icons on the mini map. I just like go cross-eyed when I look at that. So uh, it is what it is, but uh, there we go. The first Barbican, but man, Irish Reaper, man. He's got some guts. He's going for like a mid-map uh, Barbican. And you know what? No, I was going to say he's going to have a sacred site. There's two sacred sites to hold. That's, uh, I don't know about this one, guys. That might be a little too bold for this Borbican. Oh, he's going to go for the boar. I guess that's his plan, but he's really out there. I don't know if I want to be in the middle of, on a, on a free-for-all. Let's see what any, it's going to be a green landmark. Another Barbican. <laughs> okay, they're all the bar Barbicans are going forward. Is this Barbican forward? Yeah, they're all doing it. Bar <laughs> No, now this is why I wanted to play this map. You come into the mountain clearing and you have a Barbican in your face. And Adney, he is not going to be phased by this. Villagers coming on out to fight already. We have action. First blood has been drawn. It looks like Adney going to get the first kill of the day. That'll be chalking up some points up for him in the imaginary leaderboard that totally does not exist for this game mode that we're making up on the spot. Adney getting two villagers down. A nice little pickup there for his French villagers. Look at them smugly march away. They're looking back over their shoulders, making sure no one's being followed. And uh, going to go for stone out there. Perhaps going to stonewall them out? I don't know. Could be crazy. Let's see. He's playing as a French. I don't know if he's going to towers. I don't know what he's going to do with stone. Maybe another town center. He's getting stone there, too. Now, how did that villager take damage? Must have been from that scout. 
Okay, so we've already got some action out here on the field. Man, we need really like cameras on every one of these bases because there's going to be so much going on. Okay, we're just going to keep scanning to see if we see any action. At least, at least since the, everyone's so close together, it's easy to pan around the map and see the action. This might be my new favorite uh, size of map for free-for-all. Okay, so Captain Levy, he's starting off with a barracks and a spearman. Did he tower rush someone? Or did he just put that down? Maybe that's defensive. I don't know what the go-to is here. Like, do you try to eliminate your, your neighbor quickly? Or do you just, like, hope no one attacks you and turtle up? I'd feel like maybe the second. Uh, now, the, as far as Barbicans goes, and Adney's going to be quite annoyed by this. He's got a Barbican right in the face, right over top of his school of cavalry. So any unit he, he, he trains there is going to take a significant amount of damage. Um, you can actually see there just 25 hand cannon range per shot. Uh, Annie doing a very uh, pro tactic on this map, pushing the deer nice and close to his town center. So he used that scout, he pushed him close. Oh, that one escaped. But he does have a second town center, so Annie has a nice uh, economic uh, start here. On the other hand, see the Roos going for some wood. No town center yet. He could buy it. Of course, you always can have that. Let's look at the current resources of all those players. We'll periodically pull down this graph for you. Imagining a world where this is ESPN and this like graphic like, either like flies in and flies out or perhaps it's like a ticker across the bottom of the screen with like the resources. Wouldn't that be cool? Maybe someday, maybe someday on Fitzbro Entertainment Network. Sponsored by Geico. Who's going to play the halftime show? Okay, Irish Rupert Man. He has got his Barbican. He's got his Imperial Academy. So he's already in his Song Dynasty. Which is, of course, going to be faster villager speed. He can build those granaries. And, of course, those Zuganu, which will be uh, quite a problem if he goes and attacks anyone with him. What's Blue up to? Abbasid building a wall. He's going to build a wall. And he plans on making uh, the, perhaps the other Abbasid player play for it. Both Abbasid actually spawning right by each other. Oh, hold on a second. Wait, 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 wait. I thought Victor was building this wall. This is, in fact, Navid's wall. First time Abbasid enjoyer. Uh, getting some gold here. Does he have... Uh, he does have his wheelbarrow. Let's let's take a look at... Uh, oh, oh, oh. What was that? I heard a ping, and I don't even see anything on the minimap. Oh, my gosh. I see him at Navid's perspective, so... Who knows where that is. Staking his claim, that's for sure. Navid, uh, really being aggressive with the walls. Even has a few spearmen going to go out there. And uh, wait, yeah, that's the absent spearmen going to try to harass those villagers off of the berries. Oh, this is what's going on. He's building his wall too close. And unfortunately, uh, Navid is going to be losing one of his uh, half price villagers, of course. He did get... Wait a second. You, Navid, I told you. I told him to go up with the economic wing. What does he do? Goes up with the military wing and doesn't even get boot camp. Uh, he's, he's going completely off the cuff here, but maybe this could lead him to victory here against his Abbasid, uh, neighbor. This is the Abbasid Civil War, I guess. Uh, let's see, we got a bit of a towering going on. Captain Levi has been Levi, maybe? Captain Levi? Captain Levi? Like the jeans, probably. He's got an outpost. Oh, the nuke already losing a villager to that outpost. Arrows that's coming in. Uh, so Captain getting some damage there, but it kind of serves him right. He was in Adney's base, and Adney has handled this very well. He killed two villagers, uh, ignored the, the Barbican, and it's just been booming behind it. Three towns in a boom. Adney is not messing around. If I had to give your, uh, you know, coach's pick for the day, Adney would be the one I could see taking this game to victory. Also, uh, quite a skilled level player. A lot of other unknowns out here. Looking, they're they're looking. They're, they're young in the game. They're they're thirsty, looking to get a, a free for all win. But uh, you know, we'll see. Of course, VIP and Twitch chat is uh, the name of the glory here today. So. Um, we'll see who's able to get it, but if the moderators get it, just nobody gets a new VIP because like the road to Red Bull Wolo, qualified VIP players can steal uh, the chances from non-VIP Twitch chatters. That's just how life works, right? Okay, we've got the Red Palisade Wall there. He's lost two villagers trying to construct it, so this has definitely not been uh, a safe endeavor for him. There can only be one caliphate. Yeah, okay. Oh! Villager taking a little bit of charge there. We did it tonight. Addy saying hello to his neighbor as 
Kaichu Drone gets some points on the fake F FA leaderboard as the first player reaching the castle age. You know, if, if you if you bet on like you know do sports betting, you can bet on like everything at, from like the the length of the national anthem to like. Uh, you know, when will the first time out be like, maybe if there was, we had some uh, points awarded for like the first person, the castle age, first blood, first player to, uh, run their, their villager into a wall, into a town center. I don't know. We'll have to come up with the, with the point system. Oh my gosh. Vill a third villager goes down, trying to build a wall. Naveed, he's going to need boot camp more than ever. He's three villagers down. He's on the other side, though, harassing the Mongols. What did they ever do to him? They don't even have walls. Mongols going with a very, very uh, tight base. Yeah, I think, dude, no, do you get a you don't get a point for first eliminated. There's no there's no uh, losers trophies in this game. Everybody doesn't get a trophy. There's going to be one at the end of the day. And we don't give out any participation points here in uh, Monday Night Mountain Mayhem. Okay, okay, let's see what's going on here. We got tied to drone bringing in those relics. So he's an age three. He's bringing in relics. Of course, passive gold income is always good to have, particularly when you're holed up in your base. Amazing that there's no Malians or Ottomans in this match. Because, so, uh, I mean, Malians could have had some great passive gold income. Some deer up for grabs. I wonder if I could look at any of the bounties on these players. Oh my gosh, we have pings going off. It's Barbican and Tower. Okay, that's all that's going on. Let's see. Can we see the bounties? Okay. Oh my gosh. Taitu is almost at 500 bounty already. Look at this. He's five away. So pretty good there. Uh, I think that's the only Roost player we have, right? It is. Ping's going on everywhere. We see some stone towers. China uh, kind of facing off. We do have a, a clock tower. Will he open up with the trebuchet? Or will he go for a nest of bees? I do wonder here. Let's take a look at the current uh, resources. You can see what we got going on across the map. Andy, a lot of food in the bank. Uh, Levi looking like he's ready to age up here soon. Income per minute wise, there's a little look at that for you income per minute junkies. I know, yes you, I'm talking about you. There's always a income per minute one out on the chat. If you have it on current resources, someone always says, well, why not you show us the income per minute? So we try to make them happy. Okay, Naveed is making his outpost and a ram. He's staying in age two, still not getting the, wait, no, hold on a second, hold on a second. He's going to age 3 with econo Economic Wing. Choosing not to complete his battering ram at the moment. Snoop has put a prediction up. I'm not sure what it says, but we'll find out here very soon. Will one of the three Chinas win? Man, that's a good prediction. But, you know, the house always wins. Uh, could China get eliminated? I would say China is always a good sieve to have in an FFA. Perhaps I should do some kind of like sieve picker where we draw straws to like pick sieves. Oh, that could be another way we could do it. Uh, like a draw straws for uh, do like a randomizer of who gets to pick and then each player picks their sieve one by one and there can't be any repeats. That could be fun. Be fun. Maybe we even ban China. I don't know. I get tired of seeing China's and FFAs every once in a while. So I'll be rooting for whoever isn't playing China. Sorry, Irish Reaper man. Zugnu's coming out, but a horseman are there to meet him along with the archers. Victor set up nice, although he has a lot of idle villagers right now around his town center. Two TCs for him. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Stonewalls and towers. Wait, oh, the legal move. But, you know, stonewalls have not been banned in the Monday Night Mayhem. Uh, and actually, the walls have been nerfed significantly, even receiving, I think, double damage from from rams now. So I think this is a perfect time to see how do stone walls actually feel in the feudal age. As of right now, I don't know it's going to help him. Although, Victor, going for the age 2 stone wall tower, that is certainly a dirty, dirty, dirty move. But... Nobody said this would be fair, and if you sign up for a random free-for-all expecting fairness, you came to the wrong place. Irish Man, how's he going to handle that? He could just build a trebuchet. He does have the clock tower, but he's going to need the resources for it. Oh, he's been stoned off. Oh, does he do gold? No, he has this gold, but the tower can reach? Oh my gosh. Irish Rupert Man might have been completely pushed off gold here, because he can't get to that gold. He could go mid? Oh man, this is where the, the mountain starts to claim its victims as towers can just totally wreck people here. What's going on up here? Mongols are using that step right out. Going to be grabbing a relic. 
China booming up here to the north side. No one's been eliminated yet. It's about the 15 minute mark. So uh, each player will be receiving one point for making it uh, to the 15 minute mark and a, uh, a, a bronze star. Three town centers currently up for Adney. I would say he probably has the most optimistic boom from what I've seen here. And he's only had some, he does have a keep to his south side. Not not, 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 not too good, but he has a counter weight tre trebuchet. A keep to his south, the barbican to his north. Eee, not something you love to see. Adney down here uh, harassing the teal for some random reason. Uh, I guess he's to his south, so it makes sense. Never mind. He is very close. He could chop up to the back of the gold. Ooh, is that what he's doing? So he could chop around the gold. You know, I think most importantly, he just needs to get a market down, get a trebuchet, and take out that Stonewall Tower. Yeah, so now why have these Stonewall Towers? Why is this a hot topic? Well, look at the line of sight of the Stonewall Tower and the range that it has. It is an absolute monster. <laughs> oh, man. So Irish Rupert Man going to have a hard time. I'm sure he's going to have choice words for Victor after this game, but Victor, he's going to have his thumb up to his nose and say, na 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 boo boo, as he goes to Ram Naveed. He does have his battering rams ready. He could perhaps push this landmark. You got to consider uh, when we've got an Abbasid player here, he's only got two landmarks. He's got his uh, House of Wisdom and then a Town Center. Ram's also got some additional range, which makes them a little bit better than, than before. They uh, are able to get in there and do their ramming. Make Rams Ram again, that's for sure. They do Ram. Ooh, another Springle emplacement. Uh, claiming the lives of some more villagers. Ping's going on all over the map. Victor heading down to the south, but not going to get any progress there as Irish Rootman has built a keep and a trebuchet. Very nice move for him, but the Abbasid army is growing. Uh, I don't know. With all these Rams, I thought the Rams might move north. Ready to go south. Let's, let's take a look at the stats on these bad boys. They knew... Plus 200 versus walls now, but Irish Rootman doesn't have any walls, so it ain't gonna matter. Okay, Nesta B's firing out. No Springles on the field for Victor. His horseman could possibly grab this, but he has a keep to hide underneath. If he got a few palace guards in his army, I think he could hold this, but right now we got the horseman and the spearman moving forward. I'm not sure Irish Rootman is gonna be a hold this off. Oh my gosh, the carnage, the spearmen, they're right on the Nest of Bees. Nest of Bees fire, they get some damage, but the Nest of Bees will ultimately go down. Same thing for the trebuchet, but that keep also dealing a, a decent amount of damage, but the Rams uh, currently working on that at the moment. So uh, let's see how, how this uh, pans out here, but I think, well, with some repairs, he might be able to hold this. Uh, the Rams will be the biggest issue at the end. Look, the, the Zugnu survived. Irish Reaper, man. Uh, under an amazing amount of pressure has held this fight through the use of uh, the Rams and Azugnu shredding the Abbasid army and he says go back to where you came from he was able to take out that Springgold uh, emplacement uh, there on the wall let's check the north side uh, while this has been going on uh, just some towering from red and blue I swear the game is like about to crash any minute it's like w uh, too many players can't compute Towers shooting at each other all over the map in such small spaces. Green and pink, not really interacting a ton there. Let's see about Teal. Teal has his keep on both sides of his base. He's just turtled up. He has his relics. He got a total of two relics. Okay, so that's... It looks like it's... What's the, the rate of a relic now? I can't even remember. It used to be 100. It looks... It says 159 per minute. Wait, it's still going up. What is it? It's, uh, is it 80? I think it's 80 gold. Yeah, so 80 gold a relic now. So that's what it is. Uh, let's just say 160. I don't know why it says exactly that, but uh, up to the north side, uh, Adney, we said he had a really good economy. He's also worked his way to the middle of the map, has a bunch of these archery range. Perhaps we'll be spamming out some arbitrary. Wouldn't be surprising. Uh, I'm kind of curious to see if Irish Reaper Man goes for the counter offensive now against Victor, who has uh, who's really uh, kind of disgraced himself going with a, a failed uh, attack and has insulted his neighbors. I, I, I don't know. It's embarrassing uh, uh, thing to do when you have your neighbors to your south and you, you build stonewall towers on their gold mine and then they rush down their buildings. They're pretty castles. That's an act of war, I would say. Uh, Victor expanding up to the north, building up some stables. Uh, the thing, other thing you're going to think about is players, they run out of room to build and are kind of moving towards the middle just to avoid these keeps and towers, etc, etc, etc. Up to the north side, Naveed with the military wing has held on. <laughs> and look at this. He's actually chasing down his Mongol opponent, but 
Let's see if he can hold this. There's a lot of mana arms, and I don't see any crossbows in the mix. He does have a few mana arms, but it looks like Navid is going to be backing up. I think he maybe could have might have been able to take some of that, but he's a decent Mongol man. He didn't want to mess with it just yet, so he may want to get some, some uh, maybe some siege in there. Could really help his offensive. Let's check it on the western side. It looks like Adney has been had an incursion to the north. The nuke 2169 currently being slaughtered by French knights and spearmen, and his economy uh, truly in shambles. We do see his Barbican is down. Now, here's another situation where the Barbican was disrespectfully built in the base of Adney from the very beginning, and his French villagers rallied to the cause, trained this army up, and they have punched back, and look at this. Uh, the nuke currently going down. You know, this is not helping those of you who predicted that one of the China players would be winning if Annie is able to, in fact, eliminate this China player. It does look like Nuke is still on H2, so this does not bode well for him. This is his last landmark right here. Now, it looks like Drone is just sitting tight. He's chilling. Wait, hold on. What's going on there? This is one trebuchet over there sieging. Mongols chilling back in their base. The V chilling. Everybody's chilling. Okay. Cool. Let's get a, let's get a drink of water. Get a get a cold drink of water. This is H two O Wolo. That kind of has a good ring to it. H two O Wolo. Maybe I should get Dasani to uh, sponsor the channel. Monday night. Monday night Mountain Mayhem. Mr. Super Cold doing some siege there. China versus China civil warfare going on right now. Nest of Bees, though, uh, in the favors of Mr. Super Cool. Doesn't have any really spearmen to protect these if there would be some kind of horseman raid or something like that. Down on the west side, we've got uh, Teal just chilling in his base. Orange continuing to hit the nuke. Nuke trying to hold down. He's building some towers. He's building archery ranges. I think this is going to be a Zugnu spam. That is, in fact, what we're going to see. Let's look at the current resources now. We really, I, I want to have that resources ticker. Wouldn't that be so great? So, Mr. Super Cole has a lot of food. Is he looking to go Imperial? Speaking of which, Navid! Uh, unexpected, a player who lost many villagers early on, uh, had some questionable age up options. He has reached Imperial before anyone else. Now, could that perhaps make him a target? Sometimes it can. Uh, let's see what he's able to do. He has his farm set up. Of course, the Abbasids, uh, he did get the farming upgrade. Oh my gosh! Naveed, the madman, he skipped the best te deli technology of all. Fresh food stuff. This makes your villagers cost half as much. Oh my gosh, what a madman. He's Imperial Age, but uh, I don't know how he's doing it. Okay, I shoot man. About to lose his Barbican. What is shooting at that? There's a trebuchet somewhere. Okay, Mr. Super Cool is doing that down here to the south. Boom. Barbican taking shots. You know, I'm trying to think about which FFA map we should do next. I'm kind of thinking a, uh, a 2v2v2v2 2v2 2v2, uh, archipelago could be pretty uh, pretty awesome. In the chat, let me know. Is there a, a map or a certain uh, rule set you would like to see next? Okay. Taichi Drone moving the Mangano to the front line. Not always uh, the best decision to do. And Adney easily takes care of that. Uh, looks like his town center pretty low on HP, but uh, he's, he's able to t deal with his French forces as I think they are uh, at, uh, not at home right now. Where are they? Where's Adney's army? I don't know. This is not looking really good for Adney right now. Adney, I think, had a significant battle up to the north, and Nuke, despite being age 2 just kind of wore him down, uh, perhaps, while now we've got Teal... Uh, Taitu Drone has quite a formidable army. He's got Manganellas, he's got uh, Horse Archers, uh, and Trebuchets, and he's starting to dish out some damage to Adney's mainland. Okay, so Mr. Super Cool uh, has got his farming set up. Look at those beautiful green farms. Oh, I, I don't know about this strategy, Mr. Nested Bees. They are firing. Oh, man, you hate to see it. Right into the wall. Well... He ain't doing much damage like that. <laughs> oh man, what a clown. Okay. Oh, he moves forward. Look at that clock tower. That's the beast going down. Irish Superman is being a little bit pinched here. Although Victor doesn't have a lot of land. He, although he has dug quite a bit into the forest. Wait, can you break into here? Is there is this a clear? Like, could you like chill out here maybe? I don't know. That would be a man. What a bit sneaky spot if you like chop through and built your Imperial landmark like on the edge somehow. That would be crazy. 
Look at the mini map. It's like there's barely like any space that isn't occupied. It's like right here is it. That's about it. Honestly, I'm very impressed. We're about the 25 minute mark and every player is still in this game. If we hit the 30 minute mark, every player gets an additional point here. And remember those those pixel points, they add up to just about nothing. This is super cool. It's, it's continuing to treb. I think the trebuchet has been the weapon of the day here on uh, the Mountain Madness. Okay, the clock tire taking hits. <laughs> if only he realized he's doing nothing but shooting his own walls. Yeah, that's a bad idea. Here we go! A charge by our Superman coming in. Nest of Bees, though, they have now decided to fire at the opponent. Well, this besides this one. And uh, Zugnu's uh, facing off both of these age 3 Chinas. What craziness. Fireworks. And I sure man is going to have this is kind of like trench warfare, it feels like. One player charges across and the other player charges across. This has been nutty. Holy cow, but I don't know if he has a whole lot left there. Okay. Victor kind of just chilling on his own, trying to put farms in the middle of the map. Uh, how is Navid doing, Mr. No Fresh Food Stuff? He did finally get fresh food stuffs. Good to see for Navid. I don't even know the villager counts. Adney has reached the Imperial Age. We've got the Trebuchet. We got uh, Mongols just got just chilling in his base, guys. Everything purple. Hanging on by a thread, but he is there and he has held. Look at this. He's currently building a landmark going up to the castle age. Adney uh, replenishing those wood lines. We see the nuke 2169 reaching the castle age at just about the 26 minute mark. All players still sticking to it. Man, I don't know which player is going to go out first. I thought for a second purple was going to get squished. I still think he will eventually. Maybe orange has kept him alive just so that, uh, you know, he keeps yellow busy. Perhaps that can be a strategy, but I don't know. I think Adney is kind of under some heavy pressure from the Roost to the south. Now, Adney, a, a Roost is his favorite civilization, uh, one of his favorites. And so going up against it, it's kind of hurt just a little bit. Man, this, this, oh my gosh. This has to be like on the highlight reel of like how not to age of empires. I swear every time they fire at the wall, the, the game is like halts to a crawl. To, <laughs> halts to a crawl. Okay, Town Center under attack there. Um, but I, mean, I don't know if like even landmarks are dead. Is anyone's landmark dead? Blue's got his, red's got his, yellow's got all his. Here comes purple. He's got all his. Oh, one landmark's dead right there. The purple's maybe got the only missing one from what we can see. But here we go. Could this be a landmark stay from Victor? Uh, Victor, that is an Imperial Abyssin landmark. I don't know if you're going to get away with doing that. This bad boy's got 17,000 hit points. He might have mistaken this for uh, a Fire Lancer or maybe the House of Wisdom of Old. But uh, yes, he's not going to get anywhere there. And Victor has kind of stalled out in his attack. Naveed not going to be naive to silly tactics such as this. Abbasid civil warfare continues. Victor, by the way, he's in age three, picking a bone, uh, you know, picking a fight with a, 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 an angrier, bigger Abbasid uh, neighbor. So I don't know about this idea. Okay, we have uh, the Barbican maybe going down to the north. In fact, let's see, Irish Superman, he's got one, two. Where's his other landmark? Where's Nesta Beast? So Nesta Beast is down, so that will leave him with... Oh, he's got a landmark here, here, and here. They're like, yeah. Good luck landmark sniping China. They're like, oh, let me just put our landmark down. That's what makes them so good in free for -alls. Honestly, if I was Abbasid, I'd be attacking my Chinese neighbor. I don't think I'd be sitting there fighting the other Abbasid player. Although Abbasid, also very good in the late game. Uh... Adney being taken to task by uh, by Taitu, but he's able to build this red palace on the front line, and that's going to do a lot for him as this landmark absolutely it thing absolutely. There you go. I had a delay. I forgot I could do that. <laughs> okay, we've got Taitu uh, trying to get in there, but Adney held with the help of the red keep red palace and Inaya Springles. Okay, 
uh, the nuke hanging on. He's got a trebuchet, and he's on a mission to trip down those farms. Not sure what that's going to do, but he is doing it. If you see it stutter a little bit, it's because the game is freaking out. There's a lot of projectiles being thrown right now. Arrows flying all over the map. Speaking of projectiles, they slow, they slow down the projectile speed. It looks amazing. Look at that. You can see the, 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 the fireball head through the air. Look at it. It's really cool. Okay, so... Uh, Mongols just chilling. He's he's got his traction trebuchets. Uh, I think Nuke might get squeezed here eventually, but he's been holding on. He sure this kid's got Moxie. Look at this, Victor. It's a beautiful farm set in, uh, up in the middle of the field. You know, if uh, the Mister was heading out, giving out any special awards for the day, he would probably be giving them to Victor for uh, most improved farming. Look at that, beautiful, great agriculture. The heart of the Abzid Dynasty. Down the south, we got some archers facing off. Uh, Irish Superman under fire from two fronts. This could be the end of Irish Superman. Uh, you know, you hate to see it in a free for all. Eventually, you get double teamed. And, you know, when you're the moderator of Fitzroy's channel, you carry that sword. You know, I don't know if maybe he's timed one of these guys out, but. This is somehow, sometimes just how the cookie crumbles. Right now, we have a total of 10 nested bees from Mr. Cool taking out that town center, and China about to be landmark sniped. You never think you'll see it, but it's about to happen. Irish right, man down to his last landmark. He holds on by a thread. Victor going to be finally aging up to the fourth age. That's all he needs to take out, but he hasn't killed it yet. Oh, I'm sorry, the monastery was there as well. I guess he wanted to kill that. Now, well, we do have blue and green fighting. Uh, Irish Superman's best bet at this point. How many villagers does he have left? Let's see. Uh, probably for easier for me just to pick it. There we go. Uh, he has a total of seven villagers. I'm assuming those are all villagers. Seven villagers. So he can win this if he just hides one villager and keeps his landmark alive. But uh, it looks like his goose might be cooked here. As we see that final landmark to go off. And he does get a point for making the 30 minute mark. All players made 30 minute marks. And Irish Reaper Man will be our first elimination here on Monday Night Mountain Madness. F's in chat for Irish Reaper Man. Good try, good try, sir. Okay, and next up on the list, we've got. Uh, let's see who we got up here. Oh, I got my, I got my score back. Let's see what's going on over in the west side. Andy and I swear Andy and Tai Two have been going at it like super heavily this whole game. I'm surprised Purple has survived. I thought he would be the first one out to be honest, and he's doing okay. Mongols just kind of mind his own business. Well, I say that as Abzid are kind of facing off with him. He's being attacked on the south side. Which side do you focus on? I don't know. But. Adney seems to be making some pro progress. All this started changing when he got this red palace. It doesn't cost stone to repair since it's a landmark and gave it all of the siege a nice little buffer from any charge attacks. And I would not be surprised if Adney, uh, upset by the amount of harassment he's received, uh, just goes to the juggler here. You know, you can't help but feel a little sorry for Irish Man. He had to deal with that Stonewall Tower so early on uh, from Victor. So I bet he's going to be rooting for either green or red uh, to go for Victor. Oh my gosh, green wiping out. I mean, how many, look at this. Look at all these nests of bees. This is freaking crazy. But the bees, the bees. Oh my gosh, look at that. Holy cow, Mr. Super Cool Man with those nests of bees popping off. Wow. The game doesn't know what to do with all the fireworks that are going on right now. Absolutely epic. Can Victor hold on under immense uh, pressure? This is why China is so crazy in the late game. Just look at him dominating Spring Golds. He don't care. He just keeps going. And let's watch the north side. What's Naveed up to? Naveed is kind of chilling his base. He could actually close this, but he said, you know, my neighbors, they're welcome to join me. My Abbaside neighbors. But he has left them. Uh, Adi looks like he is likely going to be sniping out uh, tied to unless something crazy happens here. Mr. Super Cool across the map looking to go for the throat for Victor. Victor has held on. Honestly, I would say Naveed has had the most improved game since he started off not getting fresh food stuffs and losing so many villagers. Look at the character models. Did they change the colors on some of these units? Like, I don't remember their armor being black like that. Maybe that's just when they're red. I don't. I don't remember it looking like that. I swear they changed some of the armor colors. 
Looks really good. Tell me if I'm crazy. How is purple still alive? I swear if somehow Nuke snipes Adney, that would be just ridiculous. He has all these palace guards, he could just run them in there and do a palace guard run by. The Mongols should be the most scared because he doesn't have towers. He's just minding his own business. <laughs> Look at all this room he's cleared back here. A great job. Captain Levi, don't sleep- don't- Captain Levi, sorry. Don't sleep on Mongols, they uh... They can do some tricky things. So man, don't we have some titans now? We've got French, Abbasid, Chinese, and Mongols. I think that's what remains. Let's take a look at uh, the current resource of all those players. There's those graphs. Cap and Levi. I told you he's been sitting back. Look at the bank he's been building. Looking really, really good. He's not going to go for a wander, is he? As we learned in our last free for all, wanders are often suicide. Good go for it. There's that income per minute. And it looks like Adney is going for the throat. There's that landmark. Will he be able to get that? Is there anything that remains actually after this landmark? He does have his golden gate and he has two keeps around it. But I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna be enough. These spearmen are just ripping through all this and he has a trebuchet back there. A few horsemen. Uh, oh, uh, you know, Taito, he's just holding on. He's got a few horsemen. Does he have anything else? A few villagers down here to the south. Oh boy. He's trying to keep his trebuchet alive, which he's doing with the villagers and spearmen. Nice move. I think that was Taito's last attempt. This is it. Uh, he should offer his surrender now and leave with a little bit of dignity. Uh, up to the north side, we do have Adney. A little bit, uh, it looks like he's starting to turn his attention to his northern Chinese enemy. I almost wonder if he kept this guy alive on purpose, because he had him kind of up on the ropes, and maybe that gave him a buffer between the Mongols. Uh, looks like Mongols have been fighting with Purple a little bit. Are those, uh, yeah, those are hand cannons. Lots of springles there as well. Both Abyssin players still alive. Honestly, kind of amazed we have so many people still alive despite it being such a tight map. I thought maybe someone would get sniped earlier on. Oh my gosh, what just happened there? It's like a nest of bees exploded and a villager died at the same time. Mongols and Chinese fighting, never would imagine it. And uh, Andy fighting on three fronts, down to the south, to the east, and to the north. Is he gonna do this again? Is he keeping this guy alive or is he just slowly treving him down? He's continuing to train horsemen, so Taitu trying to stay alive in this. Up to the north side, we've got uh, a fight there up against Purple. Nuke has kind of come back in this game. Longo's just chilling. Let's look at those resources once more. 15k gold. <laughs> Uh-oh, Wolo. He ain't gonna get that. He tried. Didn't get anything with that one. Tries another one. He's just trying to keep his trebuchet alive. Man, this is intense. <laughs> and they're fighting in the middle. I mean, Adney's fighting on like three fronts here. Green, is he just chilling? Is he just booming? He's building stone walls. Uh, I wonder if he'll stonewall himself all the way in. Okay, so we've got Victor. Uh, he's cleared a decent amount of space to the north. Uh, it looks like he might be low on villagers though. Maybe he hit some, got hit by some big raids or something. Yeah, he's very low. Look at this. 37 villagers. He is hanging on by a thread. I think he has been paralyzed. He's kind of lucky red and green haven't gone to finish him off. David is kind of playing it safe. He's just been kind of chilling here around his keep. Fighting around in the middle. Really not going to mean a whole lot. I mean, oh, you know what? This is where all of Victor's villagers were. So he lost a ton. Let's see, he had... 28 farms here, and I think Annie just raided him to death. Yeah, that's the struggle with when you farm in the middle of the map. He could have done some farming back here, perhaps. Perhaps. <laughs> what is this map name? Crater of Death? No, this is not Crater of Death. This is Mountain Clearing. Mountain Clearing. Crater of Death. I do like that idea. We should rename it. We can have a custom mode called Crater of Death. Oh my gosh, Snoopa just gambled and now has 60,000 bisons going all in. Holy cow. Okay, Captain Levi, looking good. You know, I can't remember. Early on, oh no, I said I put my prediction on Adney to win this. But uh, so far, he's looking quite strong. Mongols look scary, but he hasn't really shown a whole lot of action yet. He's kind of an untested player. Oh, this is dirty. He's just chilling his back line. Victor is almost all but out of this game. Sacred Site being grabbed uh, by Adney. Is Adney going to try to go for a sacred victory? Like, that would be absolutely wild. 
don't know if that's going to be possible at this stage without some walls at his home. How has he not killed Taitu yet? He should just like finish him off. Okay, it looks like we got Abyssin and Mongols facing off right now, but the Mo the Abyssin army not looking very impressive. It looks like Captain Leve is going to easily uh, take out what's there. Yes, he has. I think he's just kind of playing it safe. He knows he doesn't have any walls. It's kind of like what he has to do. Hall friends, of course, going to be a big problem when you're facing off against uh, the Abyssin. We go a little back. It looks like uh, Navid is going to be retreating back to his base. You know, if we were going off of score, technically Navid is in, uh, actually no, Adney's in the lead. But you can't trust score. Score doesn't mean a whole lot. What was that? I don't know. Man, I, I t the nuke, the most impressive, uh, run into the late game despite being really down. Maybe the best comeback of them all. Okay, Mr. Super Cool, he's getting ready to do something here. He's got quite the mass. Okay, let's take stock. Who's in H3? Okay, Nuke, purple, is in H3. Taitu is in H3. Now, Teal's all but out of this thing. Purple, he ain't out of this, but he's been damaged. But he's still doing okay. Uh, everyone else is in H4. Blue, I mean, he has Abyssid. He could reboom re all his villagers. He really well could, guys. Don't forget that. Abyssid, I mean, if I was him, I would build Spearmen. Or crossbow. Okay, yeah, this is good. Take these out and then throw like two more town centers down. Like two, three down centers. Like not even kidding. Like go crazy. Maybe like try to secure this wall somehow. I don't know. It's gonna be hard. It's just like almost impossible to wall with how close people are. Yeah, with what stone? That's true. You could buy it, I guess. Yeah, this is starting to come uh, about a no man's land. Everything's burnt out. All the resources getting gathered. There's still a lot of gold out on the map. Got gold there. No one's really fighting right now. They're kind of like poking at each other. Adney hasn't finished them off. He's trying. I too is holding on. Here comes another horseman push. He's got the spearman there this time. Interesting he's going for the keep and not the golden gate. I guess he kind of knows he's going to keep repairing. Is there just 15 villagers in there? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, green is just waiting. Yeah, he's just waiting for like someone to get knocked out and then he's just gonna go push out or like someone to try to mess with him. Maybe he'll finish blue off? I don't know. Kind of surprised he's let him live. Red, up against the Mongols. Uh, well actually he's fighting Adney. Adney somehow has moved all the way across the middle of the map and now is fighting, I guess on three fronts. He's this way on purple and then on teal. And you only have so much military population is gonna be the problem. You know, what if these players dig all the way to, or chop all the way to the edge of the map? It could very well happen here. What if we run out of wood on this map? Now that would be something. Okay, down to the south side, we got Taitu. Losing his landmark once again. Let's watch how many resources he has. 5k woods, that's all for repairing. That's all he's doing is just staying alive. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Honestly, his best bet, if Green comes over here and snipes Adney, it would be the upset of the century. We see the nest of bees already. This could be Taitu's saving grace. Yes, uh, at the 45 minute mark, every player gets a gold star if they're still alive. And uh, if, you, if you chop to the edge of the map, uh, I will give you uh, a personal trumpet tune uh, of your choice after the game. That's uh, that's how it works. Impro completely improvised on a B flat blues. Irish Superman unfortunately only got one gold star. Rest in peace. I can't believe Irish Superman was knocked out so early, and then this game's gone on for so long. I really got you know. I kind of expect a little bit more from my moderators. <laughs> Ah, oh, we kid. We kid! Okay, Adney. Uh, he's holding off as the nest of bees have been coming in. I think he kind of poked the wrong bear as Super Cool has been annihilated from that. You remember that army he had has been wiped out, and Taito kind of got some extra time to stay alive here. Although that Springle, that the trebuchet just continuing to work away. And there we go. The rest of his nest of bees are down. Build the map, Navid pushing out mid. Very interesting. I'm surprised he hasn't like gone for his Mongols to the north or the Abbasid to the south. They're pushing mid. It seems to be a popular thing. Maybe it's for resources or land or who knows what. But Adney 
now being pushed back by i mean green came around to attack there we got red attacking i mean surprised that green didn't take out teal but it could be because he doesn't want to take out his neighbor he wants to take out the strong beast in the game right they're all going after hadney they know uh that he is the clear favorite in this game Right now we got this horseman coming out, taking out Adney, holding very well against all this siege. Uh, but he's being a uh, kind of stretched thin. He's got plenty of bank right now. Player's pretty low on stone in, in general, except for Naveed. Look at Cap'n. 10k food, 30k wood. Like, what is, what is, what is he doing? Is he just chilling up there? Oh my gosh, he totally is. Look at this. This is his tactic. He's just like, I'm going to sit back here. I'm going to mind my own business. I got three relics. I won't bother you. You don't bother me. I don't have walls. And he's just going to chill here. Uh, I really like Naveed's stone walls. Look at this. He's the, probably the only player that's almost 100% stone walled. He could delete these palisades probably and finish this up. Maybe he'll wait till he finishes the stone and he'll do that. Perhaps. Victor, doing what I suggested, one, two, three, four, five town centers. This might be uh, an award for the most town centers. One, two, three, four, five. I think that actually unlocks uh, tier 10 golden age uh, when you do that. By the way, Taito was five food from that tier three this entire time. Five away. He's a follow, Quabian. Okay, how many villagers does he have? Let's see. Victor. 96 vils, very impressive. So he's got back in this game. I would actually put him in front of Nuke right now, perhaps. Let's see what Nuke has. 88 vils. And uh, I don't know, Nuke's kind of got a second life. You know why he's doing okay? It's because the Mongols just really aren't messing with anyone because he probably could have rolled him. And Adney has kind of been uh, occupied with the... <laughs> it's weird they're fighting from across the map. Uh, but now we have this kind of like middle ground where players are coming to rumble down to the side. Taito holding on. He even has a town center and this will be the next player, up and coming player to keep an eye on. 25 villagers. He's got the green wall watching over him. Yeah, I don't know. Snoop is saying Adney shouldn't have played with his food. Just kill your neighbors. Yes, he did keep both these guys alive for so long. And now he's kind of stretched into this fight. Now his neighbors are like kind of rebounding. I can't zoom in. The game is like just getting laggier. <laughs> Honestly, I'm impressed to see Abyssin players making it this late because they have the least landmarks of them all. And there we go. Uh, Naveed, perhaps going to get a full wall off. He just needs to finish this. Very, very nice looking. As far as architecture, uh, I think he might win the best city builder. Look at this thing. Absolutely beautiful. Of course, it's Abbasid. How could it not be beautiful? Blue, though, booming back. Better than ever. Let's see how villagers he's up to now. Look at that. He's up at the 121 villagers. He is back in this game. Do you guys remember? How many villagers was Blue down to? Was it like 25 vils? See a chop through one on the back. Oh, that could be about to happen here. But these guys have kind of been leaving each other alone. No one's really occupied this land yet. Green. It's got three relics. Oh! The Great Wall being built. That might be the end for Taitu. He's held on for so long. He almost was going to receive a, a, a medal for making it to the hour mark. But uh, I think this might be all she wrote for tied to though a commendable performance for just hanging on uh, despite much adversity definitely gets the greediest player award okay we've got to keep going down okay Annie's also here to party watch Annie take out China or something stupid like that and he survives oh my gosh what is going on look at all these mangonels these things could turn around and just wreck these Okay, he's taking him out. Last landmark gonna go down. Will Taichu survive it? He turns around. Taichu, as always, hanging on by a thread. Oh my gosh, but he's got the rest of... Uh-oh. Is he out of villagers? That might be it. He's got zero population, 500 food, and a town center. Can he do something? He's still alive. 
despite all of this. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Is he even training a villager? I think he might have realized, like, this thing's done. <laughs> Nothing over there. He's got siege. Okay, there it is. It's on fire. Finish the job. Dude, what is Andy doing? I <laughs> do he surrenders. He doesn't get landmark sniped. He finally says, enough is enough. GG, Taitu. Well fought. Sleep well. Everybody get an F in chat for Taitu. Drone for putting up an excellent fight despite such crazy pressure. And then there were how many? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Yeah, there's only two people out. But that could change here rapidly as players are starting to get to full tilt. Adney has the Holy uh, the Holy Adney Empire. The Holy Roman Empire's got nothing on the Holy Adney Empire. The nuke, remember when he was almost dead? And now he's got all these farms, he's got Springgolds. He's still in H3 though, so I'm not sure what that's all about. Yellow, yeah, look at this. So if you escape to, is that a victory condition if you make it to the top of the Misty Mountains? Is that a victory condition? It looks like he's about through. What if he like, what if he goes for the, there's a sneak attack, and comes around here and like chops through or something crazy. It's really funny. Yellow uh, has almost chopped through. Narnia is on the other side of the mountains. That is in fact true. I, I don't know. Do you go try to take some of the relics that might be up for grabs? Actually, that's exactly good. Look, Naveed went all the way across the map and grabbed some relics. I don't know who he just sniped that relic from, but he definitely sniped someone's relic. Dude, he has the best looking base. Like, look at this. Imagine if these were Malian walls. It'd be even next level. Like, he's getting stonewall towers. This looks like what you expect, like, a medieval fortress to look like. I don't know, Naveed, uh, he had some questionable openings, skipping economic, or er, skipping fresh foodstuffs and everything, but now he's looking like an absolute monster. A marvel of urban planning, absolutely. Naveed is a fan favorite right now. Along with Victor, everyone's always rooting for Victor, and look at this. I said, I tell you, this kid's got moxie. He's, he came back, he, look at all the villas, he's, he's boon back, boon back better than ever. 120 villagers, despite being, like, done and out of this a long time ago. Let's see if anyone's even close to going for a wonder or something crazy like that. Not from what I'm seeing here. I wonder if Yellow's planning on some, trying to do a wonder. Wait. I keep looking to see if there's something crazy, like, it'll look a wonder. I don't see one. That's a land. Deer stones, okay. Man, who's gonna go out next? I feel like Purple should go out next, but I'm not sure that he will. Stronghold Crusader player be like Naveed. Yeah, absolutely. Chops through to build pastures. You know, that's one tactic. I thought he might build a wonder back here, but... I mean, he's got the bank. He could sell all this wood. I wonder if he has enough to buy... Probably doesn't. Probably still couldn't afford the stone. Oh, you know the hardest thing? He can't even chop stone with this sieve, right? He's gotta do the uvu, so... Uh, it's, wait, it doesn't cost stone for one. I, I always say this and sound stupid. It doesn't cost stone for uh, for Mongols. So for them, it's just 8k of each. So he could do it, perhaps. Perhaps you just need the gold, I guess. Okay, so we have, we're just under the hour mark. We've got Adni. Remember when I thought, uh, I thought this, I was like, oh, this could be a quick game. It's a small map. Psh. Yeah, right. I don't know. Wow. Okay, Naveed getting some shots off on that keep. Victor, not happy about that, though. Has he poked the bear? Elite camel archers. Up against regular archers. Not going to be too good of a trade. Let's see how this goes. Camel archers might be fine, though. They are high DPS, but... Oh, there's using some hand cannons back there. Yeah, he's losing a lot of camel archers. And these are cheap archers, right? He can replenish those pretty cheap. Um, I think Victor's going to get a lot of kills here, but overall, uh, this is probably a worse trade as far as the units he's losing. And actually, underneath all these towers, he might not even win this fight. Some low HP. Yeah, I don't know. That was a pretty good trade for Naveed, I'll be honest. Okay, so... Uh, if you just join us now at the 54 minute mark, this was in fact an 8 person random Civ FFA. And somehow we didn't get any Malians or Ottomans, but uh, boy have we had the action. Okay, the nuke. Uh, perhaps 
under fire from Adney. Adney's maybe done with this Chinese uh, incursion to his north. Now, let's think about this. We've got one Chinese player eliminated. Perhaps this could be the second Chinese player eliminated. Chat predicted on would one of the China players win, uh, which would leave green which who looks like to be your best bet if you have betted on china winning this game you should be rooting for mr super cool now uh he needs to take a little architecture lesson from his friend navid uh, he should finish this he could he could easily delete that mail and stonewall this in but uh he as, as it seems right now he is not take her sight being grabbed by adney man this could go on for a while these guys are really holding on Okay, so we've got Adney uh, positioning, but doesn't really have the firepower to take out any of his enemies right now, and it's kind of a tricky little dance as everyone's kind of booming out. And Navi just... I don't know. I just... I'm sorry. I'm just fangirling over this Abbasid town. It just looks so freaking amazing. He's built this thing beautifully. He's got the towers out there and everything! Uh, <laughs> I love it! Oh, it's so good. Okay, a bit of a camel fight here. The camel should be able to take these, I believe. Those are fire lancers. Although, I don't know. They have four, five, six, seven ranged armor, pierced armor. Nesta bees, though, that's going to be a different story. I remember Vic Victor boomed back. Uh, these two have kind of left each other alone. It's kind of been crazy. Okay, we've got the uh, Nesta bees firing right now on those camels. Camels, though. Uh, taking out all the fire lancers. He's gonna a few horsemen really could deal with those fire lancers quite easily. Oh Look at this We've got to chop through a little bit of Abbasid uh, Incursion now and knowing the V he's probably gonna throw a stone wall down right there, right? You would think so. I Want to see like a three-layer stone wall wonder from the back here. That's that's what I fully expect. Spearmen coming through, and here we go. We're going to have some villager action as the Abbasid Civil War is once again reunited after that uh, great event. You guys remember uh, in history class at the time, the Abbasid chopped through the woods. It's, it, it kicked off the Abbasid Civil War of 2022. A little bit of a camel run by, looking to deal some damage to uh, his green neighbor. And uh, losing some camels along the way, but uh, perhaps got some villagers. Let's see what green is sitting on. As far as villagers, Mr. Super Cool, uh, 64 villagers, so that's not good to have in this late game period, right? Let's look at his bank. He's got an okay bank, but uh, you would like to have more villagers out, but maybe he'll get back. I don't think the camels will finish him off. What is Addy doing? Now, hold on! I might have missed a moment! It looks like we, in fact, have uh, a, a, a nuke has a surrendered. Uh, I don't know if somebody uh, uh, pressed him or perhaps he just got worn out after an hour. Maybe he had to go to bed, but Nuke, he is out of this game. I missed the end of that. Uh, wait, he was moon spirited away. Was that his last landmark here? Perhaps he was landmark sniped. One, two, he was in H3. I think those were all his landmarks. That's what it was. So uh, there we go. F's in chat for Nuke. Two China players have been eliminated, leaving only Mr. Super Cool as far as China goes, uh, if you predicted for them. Nuke is a goner. And now Adney, having eliminated both of his neighbors, might be sitting on the best footing here. Uh, he basically has his whole front line. Uh, now he's Roos. I don't know. I think it'd be in his interest to start considering a, a giant wall of Adney. The holy wall of Adney. He's going for a wall of towers, though, uh, for the most part. Looks like he's going to be claiming some of his uh, neighbor's land, perhaps. Again, uh, Levi definitely wins. Like, he's... If you're playing... Uh, wait, hold on a second. What the heck? His... His... Prayer tank got killed, I think, by these trebuchets. Uh, he wins, like, the pacifist of wars. Like, if you're playing Civilization, he's Gandhi, that's for sure. Like, he's just chilling here. He ain't doing nothing. He's got these pastures in the bag. He's just having a chill time. I can't imagine he's playing Age of Earth 4 for, like, an hour just sitting in my base, but... Some people do. Is he attacking orange? Um, doesn't really look like it. Yeah. Sneaking? Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see what we got going on here. The yellow coming on in. Just as we think that Captain Levi has just been chilling back, not doing a whole lot at all. He is sneaking on through 
looking to hit Adney in the back where he might least expect it. Now let's see what Adney's able to see. I don't know, at this point in the game, do you expect that maybe someone could enter from the back of your base? It should maybe be on your radar. Uh, he does have eight towers back here, and uh, man, this would be could be quite the blow, especially if all of his army is up to the front in like a big engagement. Maybe he could kind of fake an attack to the front and then run in. Now look at this. He can actually see this on the minimap if he pays attention. Captain Levi is chopping through. Uh, Captain Levi also doesn't have the military population, though. Look at this. I, I think he should probably take a whole horde of uh, knights, not just like two or three. So I kind of, uh, I don't like the idea of him going in just three. He's going to blow his cover, and then Annie will be hip to what's going on back here. Victor has surrendered. Did we just miss a big moment? Oh my gosh, we did. Naveed, he steamrolled his uh, Abbasid, uh neighbor to the east side and it looks like he just killed all those builders once again and then he just decided to finally tap out f's in chat for victor uh, another f uh, crowd favorite an ffa uh, uh veteran and uh, he's going to be eliminated no victors will be winning that leaves one abbasid dynasty one mongol one french and one chinese okay and uh, i think captain levi is about to do an old sneak attack here Sneaky, sneaky, sneak level 1,000. He's getting ready to go. We just hit the one hour mark there. If you guys made it this far, make sure you pat yourselves on the back. Of course, YouTube, leave me a comment. Let me know you're still here. The few, the proud, the one hour Monday madness here on the mountain clearing. Naveed, of course, with the beautiful architecture has taken out his Abbasid opponent to the south, which has been a, a stark rivalry all the way through here. GG, Victor, thank you so much for playing this round. We've uh, enjoyed watching your, your boom. You had some great plays here. Look at those beautiful farms. Naveed still is holding a grudge, despite Victor being down for the cow. He's talking about kicking a man when he's down. Oh, I hear a trade going on. What's Adney doing? Okay, he's buying towers. Oh, he's realizing he knows the Mongols are here. He's slapping down towers. And he's red alert. He's realized there's something going on on the back line. At the same time, though, Naveed pushing from the front. Could this perhaps be an orchestrated attack by the Mongols and the Abbasid up against their French opponent? Adney, being a, a celebrity in this game, could have a target on his back. And uh, luckily for himself, he was able to get a little bit of wall up and is repairing it, staying, keeping the Mongol horde back. But for how long? Meanwhile, retreating his front line with Naveed barreling through. Naveed really has a bone to pick. He has not attacked his Mongol neighbor, surprisingly, but has gone straight across the map towards Adney. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Mr. Supercool has a Pact of Neutrality and also builds really shitty walls. <laughs> what is this? Oh my lord. Can't watch that. He needs to go to architecture school with Naveed, the Naveed School of Architecture. Okay, Naveed. Powering through the front line. He needs more siege though. These Stonewall Towers, they can stand up for a long time. So Adney uh, is facing attack from the, the front, from the back. Trebuchet taking out those stables though. So the element of surprise is gone. Like I said, a, a horde of cavalry might have been his best bet for that initial push, but perhaps it has given Naveed the ground he needs to start making an incursion uh, moving east to west. Uh, I don't think he has the like the cannons or trebuchets to really punch through this at the moment. Yeah, he was the bait. And that's exactly what he was. I mean, Naveed's probably like, okay, the Mongols, I'll just sweep to the north anytime I'm ready because they don't have walls. So maybe that's why, you know, he thought, let's go across the map. Now, same thing can happen to him. Look, his back door is open. Uh, Levi could be doing some run through. What is this? Hold on a second. Yeah, he doesn't have any armies microing out on the map. Like, he should be microing those gurs. Get closer to the wood lines. And he just doesn't care because he has so many resources. Look at the resources right now. Annie, by the way, food, 9.5k, 9 6k gold, 20k uh, wood. Captain Levi having 60k wood. Holy cow. Even the 3.3k stone. Okay, so uh, Adney just basically spamming units out as... Uh, the, the Abbas is trying to make some ground. I think he will ultimately hold this, but uh, he at least has that in like the back of his mind that perhaps the Mongols are coming from the south. Rather, the west. 
Oh, look at all these towers. Holy shit. He built so many towers. He, is he going to tower the entire map? Age of Towers is well and alive here on the pup. What is Green doing? Like, come on. Is he going to be a wonder? Like, what? What? He's just chilling. He doesn't have anywhere close to the res for a wonder. Like, I. Uh, he is gathering gold out on the map. Uh, I, Green, sleeper, he's gonna come in like second place or something. Uh-oh, are these this fire lancers? Could go for a fire lancer run by. Maybe that's what he's gonna try to do? A fire lancer and nest of bees push? Perhaps, looks like he might be. Surprised he hasn't closed off this wall yet. Okay, what's going on out here? Adney, trying to push out now. I don't think he's going to have a much success breaking through the Abbasid base. Uh, he, he might have to face the Mongols first. Although Mongols seem to be also playing neutral games, such as green. I mean, that's one tactic when you're in an FFA. Why aggro X on one when you can just chill back? Keep all your resources. Don't piss anyone off. Wait till the time to take a fight. Uh, that could be a, a tactic we see, as we saw in previous games, some of the earlier aggressors going out fast. But here we go, Captain Levi getting in on the action now, whether he wants to or not. The bombard's on the front line, not totally where you want those. Uh, I don't think Navid has enough to take those, and I'm not sure if it's such a good idea to aggro the, the Mongols as he's just kind of pissed off Adni across the map. Red and Orange just have it out for each other. And Green is just kind of down there chilling. I don't know, if I was Addy, I'd be a little wary of like, what is Green doing down there? You haven't seen him at all. You have to be thinking like, is somebody going for a wonder at this point in the game? Why? Wait, he could have, wait. He could totally just sell and buy one. What? I don't know why he's not doing it. But I guess he doesn't have walls. It would be really, really hard to protect. It also would put a target on his head, so don't get too crazy, Fitzbro. He's playing the right tactics. He knows what he's doing. Look at all his trebuchets. Adney, though, uh, going to be pushing the opposite base. This is like epic battle, at, like epic base versus epic base. Like, look at this. This is kind of a like free form, throw towers everywhere style. And this is like very calculated wood wall, stone wall, stone wall towers. But you know what's good against all those? Trebuchets. And stone walls prevent you from shooting spring walls over the top of them. Uh, so it makes me easier to actually take out things sometimes. Addy looks very calculated with this attack. Looking to break a hole. What does he have on this back line? What is this? We missed it. Green has snuck in from the back line and has building towers in the back of Naveed's base. That's exactly what's going on. So Naveed could be in some serious trouble trouble here if Adney breaks through. Green, let's, let's watch what he's doing. Maybe he's sneaking in other players' bases. I was trying to see if he's sneaking in the other base. Just a few knights there. That's about all he has. It's not going to be able to get all, uh, enough. But he's done some damage, and he's definitely distracted at the very least. This is hilarious. People <laughs> did not expect anyone to do this. Naveed. Uh-oh. The wall has fallen. Trebuchet is coming in. Uh-oh. Adney looking very strong. He's got Mangonel, Springles, and Trebuchets. The horseman front line for the most part. Looking to maybe run in while Naveed is a little bit distracted with the back. Uh, China with the distraction uh, just might be the death sentence for Naveed because if he can't stop this advance on the front line, uh, that could be all she wrote. Though he has keeps and towers, should be able to shred these horsemen, but not before maybe losing a few of his villagers here. And Mongols pushing at the same time. Is this an orchestrated uh, team up? I don't know. Mongols looking like this is the time he wants to attack his Abbasid. Uh, neighbors we got china come across the map with the sneaky wall tax i mean if you're naveed you gotta feel like the whole world is going against you because it currently is poor naveed yeah how i pick on the man like this he's been he's been my no hold on naveed, naveed no oh gosh naveed oh didn't he have an entire camel army earlier Oh, Naveed, this, uh, you went this at the, by this point, definitely. I wish I could click it for him. Well, he said this, by the way, Naveed said this was the first time he's played Absid. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. He's played very, very well, but missing a few key techs here and there. Yeah, he's going to hold this, though. Don't, you don't, don't write Navid out. It's just because of one fight. Look at this. He's got all these archers down on Mangonel. Could be a problem. But what is Captain Levi missing? 
Mangonels, and now he's pissed off his absent neighbor. Oh my gosh, Mr. Super Cool at it again. He you know he's not really committing to anyone. He's just like attacking here. What what the heck? These things got flattened. Was that from the Mangonels? It might have been. He did try to do a Fire Lancer run, and for all the sitting around, all Mr. Super Cool has done is is cause distractions. It's kind of like espionage all over the map, and. Now we got Naveed fighting his Mongols. He might say, "You know what? You betrayed me when the when the when the Rus uh, sorry the French came to attack him across the map. You turned on me, and now he is going for the Mongols uh, and pushing in. And I'm not sure that Captain Levi really has the stamina to hold this. He he's kind of chilled the whole game. Uh, he has some military protection, but like I don't know. Naveed is rolling, but he doesn't have a ton of uh, ton of siege damage. And oh no, Adney." Ooh, I thought he was going to pick up all the siege. He turned around. Let's keep an eye on that mini-map, see if green's sneaking around anywhere else. Look at all those towers. It's all upgraded? No, so they're not doing anything, I guess. Yeah, that red keep. That's up here, right? Oh no, the red keep is... I don't know where it is. Right there, red palace is down. Oh, he took out the red palace. Oh, is that what killed all of his things earlier? Maybe. Green are really getting into this now. He's getting into the, uh, the holiday spirit, finally joining the festivities uh, with some fireworks. And we do see his dynasty units you know, actually getting a little boost with good ears. But going to be flattened by the mangonels. In comes some horsemen. Will this to be able to hold him off? I think they will, but uh, he might want some more units than just Nestabees. Okay, so Nestabees. Kind of being pushed back now by the horseman. That's going to be an expensive loss for him. Look at those current resources. Take a take a, a look at who's got bank. Is it super cool? No wood or gold. Uh, Captain Levi, uh, no gold really. He has tons of wood. Looks like the horsemen have held. What is this? Oh, he's at it again. He's at it again. Trying to chop through. He's all about these just like crazy tactics, but uh, I don't know if he's going to has what it's going to take to win the game. Uh, Naveed uh, has shored up his defenses. Uh, now, resources, look at this. Naveed, he had to spend a lot. He's got, like, no bank. Let's look at how many villagers he has after all this. Whoa! Who, did I miss something? Did he, did he face, like, a massive raid, or was it really just that attack? He is out of everything. I didn't... I, I don't know if I saw all his villagers die, or if there was some kind of sneak attack I missed, or... It could have been a Fire Lancer attacker. It was just that main push. He was just wiped out, but his villagers have been wiped out, but his infrastructure is still here. He just needs to drop down some town centers, but this is going to be extremely hard and not going to go very fast. Yeah, that green push. That probably was it. Okay, so uh, Naveed uh, has been kind of a favorite to follow this game, but he's been kind of paralyzed economically. That could be a death sentence for him. Uh, he's kind of lucky that Green has now aggroed the attention of Adney and gives him maybe an opportunity to boom back. But uh, it definitely probably lowers his probability of winning. Is there Super Pool Cool not looking very good against Adney? And folks, I said it early on, and now I, I'm starting to feel pretty confident as we almost reach the, in the hour and 15 mark. Adney is looking really strong this game. I mean, these little sneak attacks, they're not going to do much. Mongols has proven only to be a pest for most of this game. He hasn't dealt any uh, consequential damage. Although, these could do a little something. Let's keep an eye on them as they move across the map. Oh, I just might as well pick hits faster. There it is. Okay, let's see where they go. I wonder if he ran these through... Uh, if for some reason he ran these through Naveed's base on the back and I missed that. Yeah, this has lasted longer than a water map. Believe it or not. I didn't think it would, but uh, perhaps this is a... Super grindy game. The players, it's been really close, honestly. I felt like the entire game, like a lot of action, a lot of players playing each other, like fighting each other. Like the only exception was pretty much like yellow sailing back, not doing a whole lot. And then kind of what green's been doing a little bit lately, but most for the part, players have been fighting. Adney's, Adney has definitely made the most enemies. I mean, he could be facing all three of these opponents now, although he looks like he's ready to take on all three of them. Green doesn't really have a huge economy here. I mean, we already kind of looked at the bank. Look at this. Green, out of gold. Well, not a ton of wood. Adney, he's got bank for everything. I mean, he could put down a wonder just about if he got the stone. 
Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The horseman running in. Sound the charge. Burr, burr, burr. Horseman moving in. And Annie going to be losing lots of villagers as this goes on. That's his goal. He's just to grab villagers. The Mongol horde advances. But what is he able to get? Villager after villager after villager. Adney sees this. He's pulling back troops to try to react. I don't know. He'll get a few villagers, but it's not going to be a... It's not like he's wiping out like 30 or 50 villagers here. Like he's just getting a few here and there. But let's look and see what, how many Adney has left. I mean, that's another thing to consider. 107 villagers. So <laughs> he's got plenty. Right, he's spread out all the way across the map. I don't know where all his villagers are hiding. I guess they're all in towers. He has plenty of towers, I guess. Mongols also running past, like, bombard towers. So, the, I mean, look at that. Taking tons of damage. Yeah, I don't know how they're going to stop Adney. He's kind of uh, advancing towards the sacred site. Look at the towers he's got. What an absolute madman. Uh, Naveed trying to boom back into this thing. Let's see how many villagers he has now. 32 Vels. He needs more town centers. He's got one here. Now, if you were Adney, who would you eliminate next? See you, Mangler. Thank you for watching. I feel like super cool. Doesn't have a huge eco. Naveed, pretty low on eco. Uh, I mean, very low on eco. Captain Levi, like, just doing weird uh, run-by tactics, but not really taking, like, solid offensives. Offensives? And now Adney, he might be using their own tricks against him as he now has access to the mountain highway that's on the backside of the trees. Yeah, I think he might as well just like take out green and take the sacred site, I, I think. like, I mean, he's towering towards it. Perhaps playing a little too, I would say at this point. I mean, you gotta play reserved in FFA. You gotta take your time. You don't wanna rush anything because he could be turned so quickly. But uh, he's dealt some amazing damage to all of his opponents. Um, it should be able to 3v1 them at this point. Uh, I, I I can't imagine something crazy happening unless they really all ganged up and, and pushed together. But uh, unlikely that's going to happen at this point. That's a lot of towers. Yeah, that's an understatement. Okay, Captain Levi. Uh, getting some more wood. What's going on, on the outside? Oh, boy. Here comes Andy. And he doesn't have any towers on the back. Oh my gosh, he's just gonna wipe, wipe Levi out. Yeah, he's he has not uh, put a ton uh, on his north side, so that's not going to bode well for him as uh, the horsemen are charging in. Here they come. He'll train his own horsemen. That'll be about it. Okay, we do have uh, Navi getting in on the action despite being so behind on economy. I'm surprised he's gonna take this fight. Um, I think he kind of realizes that these sacred sites are about to be captured. Yeah, that's, that'll be the third sacred site if you can grab that. You hold three of those for ten minutes and you win. What do you, what's he have? Does he need a trebuchet? No. How's Naveed even taking this fight? He's up to 47 bills. But he's running on breadcrumbs right now. Okay, Naveed. The only one out here kind of contests this game. Green has kind of just... Green and yellow have both been like trying to go for horseman snipes, but it just hasn't worked. Like players have walled up, players have towered up. Like that stuff's not going to happen this late game. We got to build a real army and take a head on fight, um, which both of them have kind of failed to do. Red's the only one who's really done that. Um, and now he's kind of lost that head on fight. Oh my gosh, this Manganel's going to absolutely annihilate Naveed's army. Oh my gosh. Springle's making some good trades, but. This is all he has. He can't afford to be wiped out at the moment. Manganel is just throwing more and more rocks. Wait, was that his own Manganel? He does have one Manganel. Brad's hanging in here. Naveed not messing around. Oh, holy cow. Hit the wall, though. I thought I was going to hit his troops. Is he going to charge out the Manganel? Ooh, I don't know about that call. Okay, he holds. Naveed continues to hold. Okay, now, Adney, you can put this game away. Take that sacred site, sir. You can do it. The connection could drop. All right, his game could crash. We're on the pop. Crazier things could happen. Everything's fair game. Remember how this game started? Like, this whole land has just been... <laughs> demolished. Oh, wow. 
This mountain clearing used to be a peaceful oasis uh, in the Appalachian Mountains, and now it's gone. It's just been destroyed. Okay, and now Annie's starting to push Navid once again. Enemy is approaching Sacred Victory in 10 minutes. That means at about the about the hour and a half mark, Adney will take the victory as he is marching forward. Trebuchet is coming on out. Adney is determined to win this thing. Uh, I would say Adney loves his towers. If you ever hear anyone talk about like, oh, uh, tower balance is just fine. I'm not sure if Adney's the one you want to talk to. Because look at this. He is a certified tower abuser. Look at this. Oh, like, ow. Wow. But he's playing the game. Is he playing the game? Somehow Mongol's still alive. For some reason, it just seems so fitting that Holy Adni will win by the Holy Victory. Not enough towers. I definitely agree. Uh, he's going to break. I'm surprised the game hasn't crashed with as many towers. Yeah, Mongol player is definitely not winning. By the way, zero wonders, surprisingly enough. No one has gone for a wonder this game. But uh, I think Annie's just going to go for the sacred victory if he doesn't uh, somehow eliminate these players. Although he's right in the middle. Well, I don't know. I don't feel like any of these players have enough strength to do any damage. Like, it's not just that they don't have strength. Like, green could have had a huge boom and been a huge problem for orange. But he rather just, like, he didn't get his economy rolling and just, like, he stuck to these, like, Fire Lancer tactics, which, like, that might work in some, like, lower level stuff or, like, in, in a landmark type scenario, but, like, look at all the towers! That ain't gonna work! He's on 49 villagers. Like, I haven't seen any raids come through his base. Why is he on 49 villagers? I think he just doesn't know. Yeah, Levi could use his market. Yeah, Levi has, what, uh, 50k wood? Nice. Here we go, the Abbasid mob running into a labyrinth of towers. You know, should towers have a, a build limit? Should you not be able to build this many towers? I don't know. It's absolutely wild. I mean, it's an investment. Okay, so Naveed. But yeah, wait, he's pulled the boys. Villagers and all, I think this is Naveed's last stand. It in fact is. I think he's given us a show, guys. Uh, Adney uh, has all these Oh, he took the sacred site! Oh my god, no. <laughs> At this point, I'm like, no. <laughs> oh man. Naveed definitely gets, uh, I think if there's a fan favorite award, Naveed would be it. Uh, he had the most styling architecture. Talk about an all in push to stop the sacred site timer. His walls are down. He's backed in the corner. No villagers. He pulled the boys and he took that sacred site. What a badass. Honestly, you better watch out. David's going to sneak around the corner of the map. He's going to pop out in here and cause mayhem. What is this? Oh my gosh. Captain Levi, what is he doing? We got some... It, I feel like the game has been between Naveed and... Oh, what is this? Super cool. Getting on the action. Okay, so Mr. Super Cool taking kind of a head-on fight. Classic composition of uh, Fire Lancers, Grenadiers, and Nest of Bees, but he's not going to do a whole lot because there's a billion mangonels and trebuchets. And this game, we still got plenty of football left to be played here. You know, if you like long esports games, you came to the right spot because I went to the Bengals game, uh, a, this Bengals Sears game a week ago, and I got to see five whole quarters of football because that's just how lucky I am. I, I'm good at making games go on forever. Fire Lancer is actually getting a, a fair amount of those magnets picked up, but it's not going to matter. And he's got the bank. You know, I said Adney has the bank. Yeah, he's got 1,500 food. He doesn't have a, like a ton of bank. Like in these type of games, you want to have a few thousand in reserve. So like, this isn't good. Levi's, you know, he's got. 45k wood. He's ready to go for the winner. If they all team up, do you think there's a way they could somehow take him? I mean, you gotta think at this point, they've all decided, like, we're teaming up against Adney. Bombards are in play! Hello! Captain Levi has woken up. 
And this could be... I mean, he can rip through some towers very, very quickly, guys. No way. But, but, but remember it. Naveen has no villagers. He threw all his villagers to take the sacred sites. But he has 50 bills. Jeez. If Adney doesn't win this, I will eat my shoe. You heard it. Live on Twitch. Okay, Mr. Super Cole pushing in, taking out the trebuchets. Let's look at this bank. <laughs> I don't know. Like, he has no sacred site. What's the win condition right now? Like, these two seem like they're just going to hang on. He's got to take somebody out. Again, he kind of played with his food a little bit. Like, there was a point there where he really could have taken green out altogether. Although, I don't know. Red has been aggroing him quite a bit. There's his target for the Abbasid right there, right? The Mongols, like... His base is wide open. Everyone just, like, doesn't think he's a threat. But then, boom, here come the Bombards. Archers. Why are you making archers? Okay. Well... And he's just going to swat that fly away. There we go. Okay, so Andy stopping the Mongols. The problem is, it's just like when you're in a 3v1 scenario, the population, the military population really becomes a, a tricky uh, situation because it's like, how do you fight all three fronts when you can't have a big enough army to do that? He's sitting there on 102 villagers. Wait, does Addy not have a market? Wait. No, he's gold, because he's, he's got relics, I believe. Yeah, he must have relics. Oh, Levi thinks he has no gold? No, oh, with his wood, gotcha. Okay, so... Adney, uh, lost a few of his front line. You can see there, a solid layer of buildings were destroyed. Uh, but he is replenishing them. Uh, Naveed has kind of been knocked back down a level as we see a oh man a crumbling stone wall tower I think that was or was it a gate Either way, it is not good for Naveed. Let's see how Naveed Naveed villagers. He has 74 villagers. So he's booming back. How many town centers does he have? One, two He's only had three town centers. I thought he had more than that or something perhaps like four But that's what it is. I don't know. Maybe I would just have like a bunch. If you're gonna keep doing tactics like that like have a bunch of town centers in reserve Naveed hanging in there what do you guys think hashtag no to IR stands for? I think it should be like hashtag love to wall. Okay, now, Andy could very quickly wipe out the, the Mongols. So they kind of haven't built a whole lot of infrastructure here. Down to the south side. Super cool, as always. Uh, imagine if he made some bombards instead of just running in here every time with fire lanterns. Might be able to do something. It's no sir. Hashtag no sir. Yeah, I guess that is what it is. This is the game that never ends. It just goes on and on, my friends. Some people started watching it on Twitch.tv. They continue watching it because the gold is free. This is the game that never ends. Okay, guys, anyone got any good jokes? Uh, Adney continuing to uh, hold on in the 3v1, especially that he has laid out there. Rams! In this economy of hour 30, Naveed pulls out the Rams. All stops are out. Let's go. Can Adney actually lose? Yeah, I don't think so, but... I, I don't know. These guys, they got spirit. Spirit of the way in some cases. Maybe. Was it there? There it is. Spirit way. Look at all these freaking towers. You know, these are the these are the the, the two hundred and tenth men, the towers. Okay, another fight. He's like he takes a fight here, he takes a fight there. Honestly impressive his ability to split his army. Some people might have given up or just like lost track of like an incursion on one side of the base. Surprised that Adney has not built any walls too. Zero walls. Okay, so super cool doing the classic run his units into all the Bombard Towers. That's what's going to be going on there. Taking some fire. He might kill a siege unit here or there. And then we'll start this dance all over again. 
But let's see. Naveed, he's got other plans. Rolling out from the Avacid walls. Ba ba ba. Bum bum bum. Ba ba ba. Bum bum bum. Bum ba ba. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, those Rams never stood a chance. Retreat to the keep. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Adney, not gonna allow that. The archers. Uh oh. That ain't gonna work. Okay, so we've got Naveen. Uh, <laughs> Does he have the ram damage upgrade? Uh, that's not an upgrade you can get for Avacid, to my understanding. Or is that... I guess there's one at the university, right? Yeah, he has. Uh, for all siege, I guess it's... it's tower, it was a Trebuchet in Rams? I'll never make Rams past the second age. Rams are great in this economy. There's lots of wood, that's true. Uh, well, you might be thinking about the Roos. The Roos have a special Rams upgrade. Uh, none of these guys do. Okay, so green and red, both trying to push. I don't think a Ram even made it to a tower that last time. Here we go again. Here we go again. Oh, tower goes down. Ram, gonna be looking to take down a tower. And he's working. Will he get it? Will he get it? Full health. I think there's Springholtz firing from the back line. He is going to take out that one tower. Yes, he does. The one ram that could. Choo-choo. Man, he's going to town. The stone towers are down. But the Springholtz are soon... Whoa! Springholtz are going to soon take a snipe. Oh! Poor little ram. You done good, kid. You done good. You know, at what point do we call a ceasefire? Like, man, I, somebody might have to, like, go to the bathroom or something, or... I'm just imagining in somebody's time zone right now, they're like, oh, we're gonna play this quick 15-minute game, and it's, like, 4 or 5 a.m. for them right now. I have no idea where these guys are, but... It's almost midnight for me now, an hour and a half into this. The screaming. I know, the villagers! Like, what? The Veed keeps doing the, the villager pool. He's trying it all. He's a showman. He knows. Oh my gosh. Absolute carnage. Look at this. I think the thumbnail should be like a picture of this. It'd be like, is this Age of Empires? What on earth is going on? Yeah, that's definitely a war crime. That's for sure. Okay. And he's trying to hold on, but green and red continuing to show they got fight. Yellow just <laughs> making archers in the fourth age and spearmen. Okay. I guess he doesn't have gold. So that's why he did that. Uh, he still has not learned the art of the market. That's a lot of wood in the bank. Okay, sacred sites. One there, one there. He ain't getting those. Oh my gosh. This just keeps going. Is there a point in time when, like, the referee can call the game? Be like, okay, and he's got this. What if his internet drops and then these three have to fight it out? I put my money on Naveed. Okay, assuming, assuming if Adney wins, who would you guys award second place to? Uh, I guess we'll technically have a second place winner, maybe. Would it be Super Cool, Naveed, or Levi? Oh my gosh. I don't know if we need a nerf outpost or nerf Adney. Okay, uh, Adney has breached the inner walls of the Abbasid dynasty. Woo! Okay. So we've got, uh, uh, oh, Trebuchets, Trebuchets, Mr. Super Cool hasn't tried this one yet. He's not, and Horseman. He's not going to just be yeeting uh, units away at towers anymore. A nice battle tactic he's learned after an hour and a half. 
Uh, but better late than never. This could change the game plan for Mr. Supercool as he can take down towers from range. Wait, these aren't upgrade? Oh my gosh, he hasn't upgraded these. What the fuck is... <laughs> what is going on in here? What am I watching? Oh my gosh, they don't call this Monday Night Mayhem, Mountain Mayhem for nothing. Towers with the arrow slits. He's getting the bombards. Hold on. Oh, what if arrows and placements cost population? Ooh, that would be interesting. Monday Mountain Madness. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 Coming to you from live in the mountain clearing in the northeast, we have David. Hashtag no sir. Playing as the Abbotus Dynasty. Hanging on for dear life in what might be the most beautiful Age of Empires town we've ever seen, despite the giant gap in his front wall. Adni, the destroyer, the conqueror, the towerer, has currently been terrorizing the map with his towers of terror. Look at him as far as the eye can see. Oh my gosh! And he continues to push. Mr. Super Cool running with the unupgraded horseman here at the hour and 35 minute mark. And look at all the, the springles. Adney. Holy cow. And then to the north side, don't forget our friend the Mongols. Every once in a while he comes on out to play and then he goes back in and makes a few more archers. Uh, it looks like some trebuchets. He is currently taking out the player whose buildings are already dead. Wait, hold on. That's a French... I, I, I misspoke. I stand correctly. He's taking out French towers with distraction trebuchets. I gotta say, the player started wising up with trebuchets, and Adney is starting to... I don't know. That's why I lie. I was gonna say loose the towers, but I can't tell if he's lost any ground. I mean, he's lost two layers of walls. That's how we're judging movement these days. This is trench warfare if there ever was any. Yeah, so many sprinkles. This does look like a launch. Okay, so Adney got all the sprinkles and the towers. Is he just gonna try like a siege only composition? I wonder if he will. Let's, let's, that could be a thing. He only has 19 spearmen and 8 horsemen. Let's watch. Look at the bank. Let's see who's got... I mean, I joked about it, but like, could people eventually cut all these freaking trees? There's no way. No way. Levi sitting with a giant bank. Look at that. He's over there. These trebuchets doing some damage. Has to be his as well. Um, Adney... I mean, what if they... I don't know. This is crazy. This is freaking crazy. Imagine if Irish Repo Man was in this game right now. There's Irish Repo Man's beautiful town. Burnt out, sad, lonely villagers. Wait, leave I got a market? No, 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 no. Oh, did he sell some of the wood? Oh, look at him go. Oh, where did it all? Wait, he just spent it all on something. I don't know what he just bought, but... He, wait, no, that's Adney. I'm looking at Adney. No, Levi spent all his... Re I don't know where he just spent all this, but he, bet, he bought something. We're about to see. Maybe he's queuing up a bazillion bombards. Wait, let's see. Is he on the outside of this map again? He likes to do these sneak attacks. I swear I'm going to run out of freaking disk space recording this game. Uh, an hour and 38. This might be on record the longest game I have ever casted. I don't think I've casted anything past the hour and 30 minute mark. Fun Fitzbro trivia. My YouTube video, my YouTube channel, the most viewed video is a Viper vs. Caspa. Uh, what was that map called? Is Viper vs. Caspa. Caspa was playing China. Viper was playing... Uh... Actually, uh, Viper was playing China. Castle was playing, like, French. I think that's what it was. And it was on Confluence. It's got like, over 100,000 views on YouTube. And, uh, yeah, it, I, I made that video, like, the first week. 
of launch and I casted like Viper live on the ladder. I was like, oh, let's just watch a quick game. And it was like an hour and a half long game that I casted live. Now these, we expect maybe some trickery and long games to happen, but like I did not expect that. And uh, I don't know, maybe this will be another one for the record books. I think this will be the longest game I have ever casted. I don't know, guys. They're starting to use these trebuchets. Like, look at this. We got a good layer of someone's trade, and Levi is just going to town here. Is he going to make a wonder? I just, I just keep wondering if he'll make a wonder. No wonders yet in this game. Maybe it'll come to that eventually. Red's attacking green? Where do you see that? Oh my gosh. They, oh my gosh. Honestly, Naveed just, just like sends villagers in the battle. He doesn't give a fuck, and then he just just keeps on going. The only player with like real walls, by the way. We still have a gap in Mr. Super Cole's wall because why not? But say what you will, all these players in this ring, hour and forty minute mark, uh, crazy impressive. Uh, they are showing that they've got the stamina. I swear David's about, or Levi's about to do another sneak attack. What, what is he up to? What? Oh. Uh, wh what? Uh, wait, he could run through the back of the base to get his whole economy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I think we're almost at the time that we need like predictions for little things. Like, what's going to happen with this? Oh, jeez. <laughs> do you think he'll take it through the back of the base? Or is he going to run it through the middle and just get annihilated by towers? <laughs> we need like a dedicated like casting booth just to follow what is Levi doing. I'm surprised like no player target. Maybe this is why nobody targeted him. I don't know. Now, by the way, Adney making some considerable ground against the Abyssin. He's pulling his entire army and entire economy. We've seen him do this multiple times. The V, an absolute madman. Look at this. This is every villager he has. 83 villagers, all of his archers. He's just diving into there. <laughs> the V just doesn't care. <laughs> Gosh. I thought they were starting to push him back, but I don't know if Navi could keep affording to do that. That's definitely a conscript army. Uh, what's Super Cool gonna do? He's just chilling there. He's not even using his trebuchets. Imagine if Yellow and Green were actually trying to contest this game. Uh, perhaps Navi would have stood a chance because he's been like holding on despite immense pressure. Okay, Sacred Sight being captured. He has not started the Sacred Sight timer in a while. Come on, what are we, what are we doing, Levi? Wait, is he gonna... Where's he... Where, what's he doing? Where are these going? Is he gonna roll them around the back? I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. Red hanging in here. His, I can't tell what's a villager, what's an art. Oh! Is he training more villagers? He is. He's trained him to the front line. He has 77 bills. Oh my gosh. What a legend. Uh, I'm not sure. You know, what are the ethics behind sending your unarmed villagers in the battle uh, to, to their certain death repeatedly? I swear Andy doesn't have... Oh wait. Does he have any infantry? Let's look at this. He has 10 spearmen. That's it. We gotta keep. I, I, I do not want to miss this Manganai madness. Manganai Monday Mountain Madness. Feek is featuring Captain Levi. Gold star for most shiving attempts? That's for sure. He's definitely should get an achievement for this game. Culverin, the ultimate enemy of Siege. Villagers are in there. They are certainly not doing very good. But he's pushing them back into the labyrinth of towers. Where's his villagers? 91. How does he still have 91? Vill Wait, he put them back to, to farming. I think he's just farming. Like, what the? He's got 13 on wood. Everyone else is farming. Uh, honestly, really impressive. Like, Navi has been wiped out villagers multiple times and continues to just, like, keep Adney stalled out. Green, it's time to wake up and heed the call, man. Get in there. Super cool. 
Oh my gosh. Maybe his plan is just like to let them fight this out and then he thinks he'll take Orange out. <laughs> I mean, it could be laying off. Maybe enough. Maybe he's like taking a nap and he's gonna come back. Where is Vanga die? No, did I miss it? No, here we go. Here we go. Captain Levi back on his bullshit. Wait, he's not even gonna charge through. He's just gonna like bring one, two. Yes. Oh my gosh, he has a good mass of bombards here. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. As Adney is starting to break into the absent base, uh, Levi is like, "Oh yeah, remember? I'm still in this game." And it comes over here. Oh my gosh. He's probably overkilling buildings if he's targeting them all with one bombard. Do not run your guys through towers. Oh wait, let's keep an eye on Adney's village account as this... I mean, honestly, Naveed is going to hold this if he gets him to turn around. 106 villagers for Adney, although I'm sure he's got plenty of bank. Adney's got plenty of bank. Look at that. He's doing just amazing. Imagine if Green attacked, it would be great. Or upgrade his horsemen. He's got veteran horsemen. Hold on, hold on. Mangadai running on through. Now this actually could help Adney in the short term since he has a lot of bank. There are situations where losing your villagers actually helps you because now he's getting additional military out on the field. And uh, right now, uh, Naveed under some intense pressure. He needs to get those villagers to the front line. I don't think there's any mangonels to protect. He could perhaps do it. Here he goes. Oh my gosh, Naveed heading in. Oh my gosh, down goes the Mangadale, the villagers, they got their torches out. Being picked off by the towers, the siege retreating. He's holding. Where are the Mangadai? Dead? I don't know. Yeah, it looks like they all died. He ran through the towers. You know, he could have just slow pushed with his, with his bombards, but now he's going to have like two horsemen kill his bombards or something. I don't know, he's, there's definitely uh, a weak point here on the side, as far as Addy's base is concerned. <laughs> what is Levi doing? Horsemen? Okay. Got those veteran horsemen. Wait, these aren't even a- wait, wait a second. <sighs> Why? What was going on here? Why are we not getting upgrades, folks? What the f what the f is going on in this game? Okay, we're going to need to have a, a free-for-all pre-check on uh, getting upgrades. Uh, have a little quiz about what you should be doing in the Imperial Age. Hopefully he has bi biology. I am not confident he even has a university. Not that I could see. There's no way he has a university. Oh my gosh. Hey, but you know, Levi, he's living his best life. Almost two hours into this, and look at this. Causing a huge issue for Adney. He's actually kind of saved Naveed for a minute. Naveed has trebuchets alive, despite all this. 26 villagers, though, and he's low on food. How does Naveed keep bouncing back from this? Does he just queue up a million villagers? Oh, he just gets them all in queue. <laughs> what? What are you I love that he's been using his villagers as army. And Naveed has retreated. This could be the moment he could actually wipe out some towers. Hold on, Mr. Super Cool did something. Here, here he goes. Elite horsemen going in there to take out some of the towers. So just when it looked like Adney's like about to put this game away, like these guys decide to attack. They they take about like what do you guys think the like the, the, the turnaround time is on their repop of their army? Like another 20 or 30 minutes and then they'll, the yellow and green will do another attack? Like imagine if yellow and green were actually attacking while red was attacking. I wouldn't be surprised if Adney just eventually just gets tired of all this and just gives up. But I guess you could say that by any of the players. He's got plenty of banks still. He is running through and killing villagers right now. Uh, certainly being annoying has bought Naveed some time. I could say for certain, like, they are definitely all against Orange right now, but there's no way in hell they are having, they are, like, teaming or have a, a concerted attack because they have no method to when they push each other. Like, even when you're not teaming with someone, you can kind of figure out, like, oh, that guy is maybe attacking, like, or his army just pulled back, like, maybe I should push. 
You say easy to kill red, but... I don't know. Abbasid standing and almost a two hour mark. Pretty impressive. I wouldn't have wanted to play Abbasid in the FFA. Okay, Naveed continuing to stop the uh, front line. Green, he's got trebuchets out, has taken out a considerable number of these. I mean, Abney could also, like, yeah, I mean, it takes longer to snipe out Green. I don't know if he really could tell. Like, he just doesn't have eyes in this. Like, we can see all this, right? But he doesn't know that, like, Green's kind of been playing things slow and taking forever to, like, repop his army. Like, he might be afraid to put over commit here and then red push out or yellow push in. Like, he doesn't have a, a huge gauge on that. Like, we can really see, like, look at their economies. Like, okay, maybe some funny business is going on. I mean, maybe he can know, look at the veteran horseman. Unpredictable change of events. What? No, this is rigged. What? Oh my gosh. Did he crash? Oh, he crashed. I told you a crash is, is part of the strategy in this game. Unfortunately, Adney has been eliminated from the game. And at the hour and 15 minute mark, who will win? Naveed. Captain Levi or Mr. Super Cool. I can't act too surprised because when you're in an FFA that goes on for two hours, this is like an expected part of the game. I think Naveed should have no problem rolling this. Naveed, uh, has, has he hacked Adney's computer? Hashtag Adney for Mount Madness Monday. We need to open an investigation immediately. But Naveed uh, has to be counting his lucky stars as he's deleted his villagers time after time after time again. And now, chat saying I have to eat my shoe. Uh, do I eat it with steak and rice? Uh, I don't remember anything about shoe eating, guys. It's, uh, you know, he crashes the technicality. I think in the fine print is like if a, a player crashes uh, the shoe, the shoe clause is null and void. Look at all the neutral towers on this freaking map. This is crazy. This is crazy. Oh no, Shiko. Uh, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need to get my mods on chat quickly. Uh, delete the all evidence of of shoe claims. Uh, let the purge begin. Mr. Super Cool, though, no, going after... If Mr. Super Cool wins this, like... I, I, don't, I don't even know what to believe anymore. I can tell you one thing. I don't think Levi is going to win. I think Naveed's got what it takes. I think Super Cool... I don't know! He could easily landmark snipe. Like, is this what Super Cool was waiting for the whole game? He's like, I want to take out that Abbasid. And he does have trebuchets. Um, he could do something here. Only two landmarks. While his army is away with the Mongols right now. I mean, Captain Levi, I think, has lost his first villager of the entire game. Down to two, 42 villagers. Uh, I think if I was Naveed, just like, okay, just leave him alone. Come back. Deal with Mr. Super Cool. Although, Naveed, he's been dealing with this for a while. He's going to pull the villagers, but uh, that's not going to work against Nessa Bees. If I have a turn of events, Super Cool wins this. I just, I don't know what is going on anymore. I just don't know. Somebody predicted in Twitch chat that China would win. He is the last China player in this. Honestly, I think I don't think Naveed should have pulled his villagers there. It might have been working against the comp he's up against before, but these are just bees. You cannot pull villagers into that. They ain't gonna work. He's got Culverin. He just needs to get some snipes. He needs to sit back and wait. But Naveed's got no resources. And uh, Mr. Super Cool does relatively. Oh my gosh. I I gotta say, Naveed deserves to win this game. And I'm, I I feel like Super Cool's gonna get this somehow. I don't know. I don't know. Chat's telling me to eat my shoe for the content. I would like to explain, you'd explain to me how I'm supposed to eat a shoe. Oh my gosh, the House of Wisdom is under fire. <laughs> One bite at a time. <laughs> oh my gosh. We haven't hit the two hour uh, mark yet. He needs to keep these cauldrons alive because he's got like no bank. 
David, how do you come this far and then lose like this? What? I can't. Stop the steal. Stop the steal. I mean, you may be saying the same about Adney, but... Oh my gosh. What if what if Levi wins? Wouldn't that be a, 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 trick, a trick turn of the tables here? With 37 villagers. I mean, Naveed has been through the shit, and he is now... Honestly, he's just failed to deal with nested bees. His whole strategy of just, like, throwing units quickly evaporated in the nested bees, despite the fact that Mr. Supercool has been caught multiple times this game doing this. <laughs> oh my gosh. What the f*** is he doing? Down goes that House of Wisdom. Can he hold on? See how many villagers he has. Wait. He's got a few there. Uh, I don't know about this. Oh my gosh. You know, I thought this game was over. And it just has kept going and going and going. I thought it was going to be over at the hour and a half mark. Like, where, where was this from Mr. Super Cool earlier? He's keep dropping and, like, he's plugged his keyboard in. Like, is he, was he just, like, playing dead on us this whole game? And now he's burst out. The golden tier is gone. He's down to one landmark. I think Naveed would have been fine if he had not pulled all the boys and rushed them into the nest of bees. And he's going to be kicking himself when he looks at that footage later. Uh, yeah, I, I famously told Snoopa two hours ago, don't worry, this will be done soon. Oh my gosh, this is the longest game I've ever casted on history. Uh, if, if I have uploaded this to YouTube, which I think it has to go to YouTube now, and you have watched all two hours of this, make sure you leave me a comment, let me know. I gotta know who the uh, the few and the faithful are out there because this is be a hell of a long video to just watch on YouTube. I don't know, but some people do. Mr. Super Cool, continuing to siege that last landmark. I need a moment of silence from Naveed. He's made it through so much, and just before the two-hour mark, he's going to be eliminated. Oh my gosh. Salute you, Naveen. You fought bravely. But unfortunately, you sent the boys to war and to nest of bees, and that just ain't gonna work. You know, I think the craziest thing about this is not just that Naveed is out. It, it is the fact that, uh, that Captain Levi is gonna get to come in second. Captain Levi, talk about an underdog, he came in this match, didn't upgrade his unit. Same thing for Super Cool for much of this game. And he is just snuck on bias here to the very end. We had so much happen here. I don't expect that Captain Levi is going to be able to pull a rabbit out of his hat on this one. Super Cool uh, showing us that, you know, with a little bit of patience and a, and a big gap in your wall, eventually you too can be the free-for-all winner on Monday Mountain Madness. And there it is. He does it. I cannot believe it. Congratulations to Mr. Super Cool. You've earned that VIP at the hour and 58 minute mark. We're only two minutes from a two hour long free-for-all. Holy smokes.
I'll do a quick recap, but in case you are tuning out because you just watched two hours of a free-for-all on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. We've got tons of other Age of Empires content on the channel from build orders, casted games, free-for-all madness, craziness, and we do this live on twitch.tv slash twitchbro. So make sure you join us over there, but make sure you hit that subscribe button, that like, and a comment before you leave. Let's look at these statistics. I like to get that out of the way before we look at these because some people are like just, you know, they're done once the, once the game's over. I don't even know what we're going to look at. What, what, what statistics do you want to see? Naveed was streaming that whole time? Oh, Naveed, you should have won. You were robbed. Stop the steal. Stop the steal. Oh, my gosh. We need to get chat on the screen uh, for this post-game recap here. Uh, Adney had a crash. You know, it happens, but unfortunately, it's part of the strategy of free-for-all is just pray that... The player with 100 towers on the map might crash eventually. And uh, it worked out there. Let's look at the military statistics. Yeah, let's, I bet Mr. Super Cool. Let's see this. Um, is Mr. Super Cool in chat for, is the first question. I hope he just like randomly found the lobby and like didn't he, is, doesn't he have any clue that like this big event is even going on. That would be the best part of all of this. Where is Mr. Super Cool in the chat? We got show yourself. He's probably like going and like, he's probably just calling his mom like, you wouldn't believe what I just did. Okay, Adney uh, killed 3,000 units. 3,000 units. Naveed with 1,700. Mr. Super Cool with 1,500. I, I would imagine this number was greatly buffed by some of those Nesta B uh, at the end. Um, but he can't say he didn't get blood on his hands because he definitely did. Captain Le Captain Levi... Uh, down here, you can see he's lost 1,000 troops. Uh, and he lost 2.4k. Um, killed 196 buildings. Mr. Supercool killed 190 buildings. So, I mean, the stats show you he did a lot. He lost the least. Maybe that's how you win. And in fact, oh my gosh, people predicted that China would win. And in effect, they did. Oh my gosh. Captain Levi, wait, he had 12 relics this entire game? What? How did he get 12 relics? <laughs> Maybe that's what's his strat the whole time. You know what? This is why he came in second place. Oh my gosh. He was just going around stealing them from players. Yeah, Levi was playing a different game than everybody else. Oh, that's a bug from dropped and picked up. Okay, okay, it's a bug. <laughs> it's like, how, the, how does he get twelve relics? Okay, man, Levi was just kind of chilling there for most of the game. Oh man, I can't go back to look at the map again. I only my only thing I wish we had here was Malians or Ottomans, but who? I don't think it disappointed. Okay, as far as this video goes for YouTube, we're closing this one out two hours in. Hope you enjoyed it. Twitch, let's keep the party going.